Yo, what is going on, y'all? Everybody that's watching this, boys and girls, um, I have a very important announcement, you know, and I'm just going to ask you all to just give me like a minute or two to just explain what's going on right now. And it's honestly like it's going to be very heartfelt. And I know a lot of you all have, you know, been in some type of situation like this, possibly. And I know if y'all will be in the situations to do what I'm able to do right now, then you will do it. I want to give a huge, I want to give complete prayers to my supporter, Amy. Amy is currently facing a challenge battle against a rare form of cancer called multiple myeloma. And when I tell y'all that this is one of the rarest forms of cancer, and, it, and it's so crazy because you know how I feel just about cancer. Y'all have watched me walk literally day by day with my grandmother going through cancer as well. Like the strength of a community, it lies in compassion and unity. And we have an incredible opportunity to make a positive impact on Amy's journey. We humbly ask each one of you to just consider donating. It don't matter if it's a dollar, just consider donating to help her in her fight against cancer. The donation link will be available in the link in the descriptions. It will also be pinned in the comments and I'm also gonna be placing her social medias on this tab right now, along with the GoFundMe. Just try to do all means possible for anyone's convenience. You know, I know a lot of people watching on different platforms right now. Join together and hold hands with Amy and let her know that, you know, we we are fighting this with her. You know, like she's, she's not in this journey alone at all. Like we have the power to create love and hope for Amy. Hashtag stand for Amy. Hashtag community for hope. Hashtag cancer. Yo, what's going on y'all boys, man? Y'all don't know what time it is, man. I know y'all been wanting this. Y'all been talking about some, bro, man, get back to the cheating reaction video. I'm, I'm gonna do it right now for y'all, okay? Today, we got another crazy episode by the boy Jack TV called Will Her Fiance Cheat On Her? with her best friend. I know a lot of y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. I'm gonna tell, I know a lot of y'all best friends that would cheat with y'all fiance. And I know a lot of y'all fiances that might cheat with y'all best friend. So if y'all sitting there in the comments talking about some, oh, it might never, you never know. Nah, let me not be negative. I wish that on nobody. I promise you I don't. I'm just talking crap. But let's go get into it right now and see what's going on, man. I'm positive it's gonna be crazy. So make sure you hit that like button, comment and subscribe for your boy. Let get it, let go. To another episode on Jack TV. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. This loyalty test is a bit different. Here's why. Sierra reached out to me because she wants to put her best friend fiance to a loyalty test. My best friend is about to move into this house with this boy, but I put them together and he was like wanting to be with me at first. Oh. And I don't want her to move into the house and he ended up cheating on her. So oh, yeah. she's supposed oh, to be yeah. on her way right now. So I just want us to like figure out what he. So how she on? feel about the fact that you trying to put her boyfriend to the test? I honestly don't know. Like I feel like she'll be okay just to make sure she don't move into this house with him and he cheat on her. But then she's probably like, why am I doing this? about right. her boyfriend, you know what I mean? All we were mm -hmm. waiting on was M3 to arrive. So while we wait, this is the perfect time to show you guys how to make some quick cash. Damn, bro. What you, what you, what's wrong with you? I just been dressing my money on this pizza. Bro, then I Just like Jalen just did, all you guys gotta do is click. I've grown together and are now engaged with a happy family. Fiance, but things is just that simple. According to Sierra, she was talking to Perry first, who is now currently M3's fiance. But things between them never got serious, resulting in Sierra hooking her best friend up with Perry. And as time went on, they have grown together and are now engaged with a happy family. However, regardless of them getting this far in their relationship, Sierra still feels like Perry tries to flirt with her on the fly. M3 knows nothing of this, so today she is coming to meet with us so Sierra can tell her this information for the very first time. Hey. I'm okay, but we about to find out. Sissy. Hey. What's the deal? I do loyalty tests on my channel. It's called Jack TV. Uh, CC reached out to me because she feel like your boyfriend is not loyal to you. Whoa. So before I started, before y'all got together, he was always flirtatious towards me. So um, she didn't notice. I didn't like him, so I put him with you, and y'all worked perfectly fine, right? No, listen. You put him with me because y'all like it. Y'all was. I don't like him. Whoa. He wanted somebody to talk to clearly. So was you aware that they were, they was about to talk? The way she said, like, put I put him with you. That's the kind of tone that's throwing me off. Oh so, yeah. So let's dial it back. Okay. And let's talk about what this is. You're saying it's a loyalty test and mm -hmm. he's flirting with you. So we ultimately got together. Right. Okay. 
So y'all got together. He's flirty, he's flirty with me, flirtatious with me. So I want to make sure that you're not moving into this house and he's cheating. Oh, not no, with just, not just with me, because if he's flirtatious with me, who else do you think he's flirtatious with? Flirtatious as in how? Like, oh, like you look cute, you look good, you look cute, or like stuff like that. Before y'all got together, they were talking. So what made you want to take that step in and like, okay, I can fuck with this nigga. You know what I mean? I guess just like I'm not really taking this serious, I didn't take that serious. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm open to, I mean, doing it because... Then like, you want to know for sure what's really going on. No, I know for sure. No, I'm, I'm saying, just want to make sure you. he's not... Oh, you know he not going to... Okay. Okay, so Whoa. from your own personal standpoint, do you feel like your nigga loyal though? I do. That's why I'm saying I don't mind doing this. Now, I'm not crazy about stuff like this. I've never done anything like this. I feel like we have a solid relationship. But I feel like if this is something that she wants to do, we are... This is my girl. Mm -hmm. So if she's feeling that way about somebody who I'm literally moving into a new home with, I mean, I want to show her like, okay, that's cool. That's good. I like I that. Love what's, it. She, what's she trying to show her? I feel like personally, this girl right here still likes the dude that she with. <clears throat> she probably didn't mess with him because he was tripping at the time or whatever it is, but she see how he treat her. That's weird that you would want to do a loyalty test on a dude that's not your dude. I don't know. That's weird. I feel like you think you will do something. I don't know. That you yeah, like, like. I love that you cool but I with doing it. Putting you to a loyalty test. No, that's you. Right. All right, now. I think we. I think we good. I think we gone. M3 and Pay were currently looking to move in a house together, and thanks to M3, we knew this information. So we rented out a model home to make it seem like Perry and M3 was coming here to view it and potentially buy. We placed cameras all over, and we hired our good friend Danessa to show off this crib so Perry wouldn't suspect a thing when Sierra makes her move. All right, so just act like you're a real realtor. I know you don't know what you're doing, but just sound confident. Oh. All right, Perry, I got my notes. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Once everything was in place and we were ready to execute, we called M3 to see how far out they were. I'll just give her a quick call real quick and see her ETA. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hey girl. Hey boo, what's up? Hey, I was trying to see how far are you? We are literally like 13 minutes away. Okay, perfect. See you when you get here. Okay, babe. Okay, bye. I say y'all ready? Yep. M3 has now arrived with Perry, and we are now depending on Danessa to show this house without him noticing she's not a real realtor. It's hot. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, it's hot as hell out here. Hey, everybody. I'm the realtor. My name is Danessa. Danessa, nice to meet you. It's nice. hot out here. We love the house upon arrival. All right, and I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys. Now, this is um, the house. It was built in 1979, but we have crazy, done crazy. a lot of remodeling here, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Okay, you guys, so this is the main living space. Nice. Now, before we get into this area, this is the patio space right here, okay. and then we're gonna go upstairs and then circle back around. Okay. Oh, girl, you can write right here. Look, you know, I'm trying to leave. Go ahead. That's your space, that's my space. No, she gonna write right, right, right there. That's my okay. space. Okay. Okay. okay, now these stairs are brand new. They just put them in right ahead, right here. This restroom is connected to the bedroom. Oh, this is nice. Very modern. Let's go ahead and fast forward this part. Danessa actually did a good job at showing this house. I almost actually forgot that she wasn't a real realtor for a second. And I'm going to take you guys into to see the master bedroom. But she was able to execute and pay didn't suspect the thing. All she had to do now was exit and make her way out, leaving them in the house alone. Right. Okay, so you guys need some time to make a decision or just to talk for a moment? I feel like yeah, give us a few. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go right down the street to my other client and I'm gonna be back. But I'm gonna let y'all leave it to you. you got, just let me know if y'all gonna move in or not, okay? Okay. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Thank you again. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, be sure to, uh, when you guys do leave, to lock the door when you guys come out. Okay, Definitely. thank you. She's going to see another client. Girl, we need you right now. We needed to get Sierra along with Perry, so we arranged a call giving M3 an excuse to leave. Give us here the perfect opportunity to make her move. Oh, definitely, I'm here. Every day, all day. For me, once I get the, it's it for me. Once I get the keys in my hand, I feel like, boom. But uh -huh. just with all the new beginnings we got going on, this, I know for a fact that this is the move. It's the move. I know that this is the move. I got two votes, you two New minutes. beginnings. Because. Because. Answer it right now. <laughs> Answer it. Yeah. 
She about to miss the phone call. She about to miss the phone call. How do you like how they made the, the kids' room up there? Like, it looked like a little basement area. The kids' room is cool. Um, That's cool. You know, it's a little smile for my liking, but you know, we're gonna... That's all they need, though, you know? And the, re the room and the restroom, that's a vibe. Master. That's... What you think about it? That's a vibe. For real. Like, no, for real. That is a vibe. One five. Five. You know, we'll put a pin in that and we'll see. Uh, but I do know she definitely loves this, so... Yeah, she do. She love it and it's nice. Like, everything about it is just... Fits her. And I think this area oh, is going to be her space where she... Come on, man. I think we should just leave her alone when she's over here. Yeah, for sure. Because she's going to be over there minding her business and... You know? For sure. How did the car go? The what y'all got going? What's up? Girl, we just talking about the place and how, you know, how we hope you like it and you're going to get it and this is it know. for you. I, I love it. Know. It's a lot of new beginnings, like I said, but I got to get the fuck out of here because guess what? What's up? Call me a car right now and pull up at the studio right fucking now. Oh. Man, stop it. Superstar? That's a superstar? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to leave right now? Yes, I'm going to take one last final walk through. Uh, okay. My home. Uh, oh, she said my home. I mean, that's what I need to do. I need to what? lock up, like the lady said. Um, okay. That's your lady. Call. Um, shit. What's her name? Uh, Vanessa. Okay. Right I'm gonna lock up. Yeah. I'll lock it up for y'all. Okay. Good work. Call me. Call. I'll lock her too. I like her too. Okay. Yeah. Call me. Yeah. Call me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, let me give me hugs. It is a nice house. I love it. I gotta hurry up. I know they're gone. Literally, we'll be here any minute. We're fixing some small things. We'll let you wait. Aww. I'm so fucking. I'm gonna start looking. I'm gonna start looking at um details and stuff, designs and colors and all of that for you. I can't wait to do the setup. Girl. We got this. Let's take care. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I got some lip gloss on you. I'm good. I'll take that. All right, child. Bye, girl. Be safe. Look like they're like two minutes away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> two minutes away, but you going to sit outside. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why she's leaving. They ain't pulled up yet. Yeah. All right. So, look, I can't lie. I'm enjoying the vibes. We really miss this room over here. And yeah. Actually where I would be at for sure. Where she would be at for sure. But no, I don't know. I think it's going to be cool. How's life been? Are you ready for this big step? Big? You know, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It is what it is. Do you remember it's like, great spot. do you remember when we, when, we, when we first met before you and her got together? Yeah. Do you what think there would have been, would have been, you think this would have been us or something? Like? I'll be honest with y'all, think about that, you know? Right. Oh, really? Kind of the past. Oh. I thought you was a but, still but, the same person I knew back then. Uh, yeah, nah, things have changed a little bit. That's good. A lot of bit, you know. A lot of bit. Yeah, for mm. sure. Oh. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, 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 i am good yeah 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 i don't be trying to act like you just don't know how stuff was before y'all got together. Yeah, but well, that was a long time ago, as stated. Mm, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to see, what, you know, like why, why you waiting so long, you know? Because I'm just trying to, I don't know. Because you came in here looking like you looking, and I don't mm. understand. I feel like you knew. You knew you was going to see me today. Man, we good. We good. Just... So why you coming here dressed like all... Handsome She's and stuff. To I'm just trying. I just, I just think you still want to talk to me. No, 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 no. He will no, never. Come on. He will fuck. Are you serious right now? No, for real. What, what implies that? What gave you that idea? What gave you that message? What gave you that hint? What gave you any of that? Cause you came in here looking all handsome when you know you was just coming to see your house. That's what I do. You knew you was coming to see me, or did you not know you was coming to see me? I knew I was coming to see your house. Hmm. I guess. My fiance. Our house. Uh, okay. I know you would be here, but you, you know. Yeah, but I just feel like, you know, it could have been like how it was before. What's before? When we used to like flirt and just be flirtatious towards each other. I mean, Come sit down. Sit down for what? Just let's talk. Sit down and talk. Let's talk about it. 
So you don't think beforehand, when, before y'all got together, that we was a vibe? It's, it's, not, it's not even making sense. Like the math not even adding up. So you do not see yourself. That's your best friend. You you don't know how you used to look at me. You That's still look at me. I still friend. feel like you look at me like that a little bit. Like she today you was looking at me. Friend. It's my best friend, but I'm just trying to tell you, like so we you get still together and then what? We get together. And then that's that. And then what happened with that? She's what gonna have to fit the kids. It, that's just gonna be on her. I don't think that's We can right. still take care of kids though. I don't think that time is right. The time is right. So you don't think the time is right, so I you don't think, think the time is right. But you think down the line we can be something. Nah, Cause you said you don't think the time is right right now. I'm not sure if the, no, I didn't say right. No, no you said you don't think the time, the time is right. It would be right. This is a why. Man, it's scandalous. It's really dirty. It's really low ball. And I'm shocked that you even. Because you still look at me a certain way, and I feel it. Well, girl, you tell me how I look at you. You just look Literally. at me with these eyes, like your eyes be like gleaming and stuff at me, and you like you make this little smirking face. No, mm. Look, this, I'm telling you, it's it's not it. Okay, it's not it. whatever. I don't feel like that. I'm I guess about the extras, but um, you know, and I we both it. know. At the end of the day, you want me still, and that's just that. No, I mean, hey, we'll leave that on the table. If that's what you want to go with, that's what we're gonna go with. You're still telling me that you still want me. Hold on, you just saying not right now. <laughs> I said the timing wasn't right. But you not if you if you want to be with me, and Look. the time is not right right now. So that means down the line you want to be with me. Nah, yeah, I'm trying to understand why I would do anything else. Oh. Um, Help me understand it. Help me see the logic. Okay, let's see. First off. Do I even give off an impression that I would cheat on my fiance? Yeah. For sure? For sure. All right, maybe I need to work on some things. Maybe you do. Tell me what. Because I feel like you still are. The eyes gleaming. Yep, that's what it is. I'll work on And you still eyes. make a little smirk, smirk at me too. I would around you if that makes you feel better. If that'll help you out, I can do that. I'm so I, I really think it could just be me, you, the kids, no three, or three could just be here, you know, how I'm here. She could just take my place, you it know what I mean? Stupid. But I'm gonna show you a picture of how we used to be, and you gonna be like, okay, I do wanna go I'm back to that. good on that. Like, you can look at the picture and- I'm can be cool on that shit. I'm good on that. You taking it too far. You really doing some stupid ass shit right no, now. Word. Exactly. You know that shit, I know that shit, you feel that shit. Three was in this month. You would not, not, not be moving that way. You know that shit, I know that shit. Chill. I'm finna get the fuck up out of here. I'm telling you, that shit can't happen no more at all. You Told you whatever. At all. What? Five, whatever. Five yeah, five okay. Five all right. He's not leaving happy. He leaving. So what you wanna, let's just go in real quick. She upset, really Y'all, he stormed out. He was pissed the fuck off. Like, uh -huh. that was like, I had never seen him that mad. That's why I knew. I ain't really wanna so do it. So he left so fast, we wasn't able to. He gonna be mad. That's why I didn't really wanna do it. Because Perry left so quickly and M3 was indecisive about whether or not she wanted to tell him he was on a test or not, we were not able to tell him he was on a test before he actually left, which is the first time that this has ever happened. Yeah, we weren't even able to tell him. I was supposed to tell him? Yeah, you, did you want to tell him that he was on the test or what? I can't do this to, I mean, this is a lot for me to handle because I was trying to tell you that it wasn't even that type of thing. Then I had this amount of time where I'm believing whatever she said. I don't know. It was just a lot it's for right. me in the last few hours. And seeing that shit, I'm, I don't know. So what he you want to do? Off. You, you want to call him and tell him it was a test or you just want to wait? <laughs> what you going to do? Do you not want to tell him? Fuck, I look like I knew damn well he was loyal. Now I'm looking at you like, what's up? What was this, like all for What was this for? That's facts. So are we gonna tell him? I don't think we should tell him. I think we just leave it at that. Uh, you thought enough about this process. Yeah, I gotta yeah, got really think it through because I'm going to post it. I can post it, right? Mm-hmm. Shit, she done shining something my goddamn life away. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you mind me posting it? Post it, I mean, do what you do. So the the when day, he's posting it, he's probably gonna see it. See it, yeah. That's what I'm saying, so. But it's gonna also show that I said from the beginning, I wasn't on this shit. Still well, however clear. you wanna tell him, if you need my help telling him, or y'all wanna get together and tell him, I think he will rather much hear it from you before he actually sees it, but that's just my opinion. That's the thing, like, we solid as fuck. You see what we got going on. And yeah, but it's kinda gonna, he's really gonna fuck him up because y'all wasn't really looking for a house. <laughs> 
I'm fucked up. Yeah, so. You did too much. You did too I much. And now that shit got me thinking. That's what. You did too much. Shit, I asked her how she feel. The shit blew up in your face. How you feel? Yeah, at least we know you ain't gonna be uh, marrying and getting a big ass house with a nigga who gonna be cheating on you. How I look at it, I ain't gonna lie. She was trying to help you out. She was being a friend on some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I mean, y'all, right. like, like Jay said, y'all can tell me together. You know what I'm saying? He, he probably understand. I'm just saying this, like I ain't gonna. You ain't said shit the whole time. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah, I'm serious. I'm serious shit though. Like before I put this out, I think he should know. So whenever you figure that figure that out, you should. It's nothing but serious. This is my family. I mean, we got kids together. What the fuck? Okay. Shit. Well, well we know he's solid. Yo, lady, waiting on you to call. We know. That's and I feel like this whole process has just been kind of tarnished, especially with the stuff that took place in here. Well. It's weird for me. Yeah, but he passed and he passed. Uh, that's that's what we wanted out of this test. But it's nice meeting you. You too. Thank you so much. Nice meeting Thank you. you. And um, if you got any questions for me or concerns, just hit me up. We gonna talk. I mean, mm-hmm. okay. I'm sure. I don't know. We gotta we'll figure it out. And yeah, it's a lot. Damn. We just know he blew you, and he passed the test. Damn. Is this how y'all shit normally go? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, this ain't how I shit normally go, god damn. Well, shit, thank y'all again. Thank y'all. I mean, okay, that's sure. a lot of support. For sure. so, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Maybe Sierra and Perry was talking earlier on in their situationship, but according to this test, it turns out that is a thing of the past. Congratulations to Perry. He don't even know it yet, but he's the winner of the $3,000. Due to him storming off, I will not be able to show that in this video. So for the next video at the beginning, so you guys can see, I will definitely make sure I show that I sent him his money. Hey man, I'm gonna give my honest input. It's the friend. And I personally feel like it's the friend. The reason I'm gonna say so is because me personally, I would never, unless the girl that's the, unless the friend just like a real, like a, a fan of Jack TV and like, no, we really need to do this. I couldn't see me putting my friend significant other on a loyalty test with me that I used to talk to. I feel like that's just completely weird. If we all know that it's in the past, if we all move past it and we all clarify that it wasn't anything serious, why would you want to put me in a situation like that when you supposed to be my best friend and if he try anything, then you should let me know. You know what I'm saying? That's how I personally feel. Like I don't need to do something in advance because if he tries anything at the moment with her being her best friend, you need to tell her ASAP. What are y'all trying to figure out before? What is the point of that content? You know, but I, I think that that best friend miss it. Probably see how good of a guy that he really is to her new friend. You know, and just be thinking in the back of her head when they doing stuff that she wish it was her. And that's personally what I think. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below, man. Let me know um, what y'all personally think about this video. Y'all let me know who really is in the wrong. Because I know just as a man, he probably ain't going to take that lightly when they tell him that this was a joke. You know, he going to be like, well, why you joking? You don't trust me. You don't trust my loyalty. And you recorded it and all this other stuff. Like, he going to be heated. And I know a lot of my men down here, y'all can, y'all can agree. Just imagine y'all find out. You know, but y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below, man. Let's get it. Let's go.